Hi everyone, this is just a short video just to show some of the layering process that I go through with some of these backgrounds. So this is a background, this is the background of the cover for Lucy and Copper and I've just been building up these colours for the trees. So I've started with a raw sienna light and a cobalt blue in the sky and then a, a Mayan blue which is a very soft pale blue because this is supposed to be morning light so that is building up underneath now I'm just adding in some of this amazing color called Luna Luna Violet here we go this one here it's Daniel Smith color and it has what we call the granulating effect so you might not be able to see but in these areas here it gives a texture and it's perfect for these trees so this is just a very slow process of building this up layer upon layer and lots of water to help this spread this is one of the things I still love about painting traditionally because you get all these wonderful textures come through so this piece oh, about two days solid so far on this one and I'm on a tight time frame now with this book Lucy and Copper so I'm really going to be powering through these paintings with not much time for anything else in between. And I've put some of these tree branches in earlier and they have dried. I'm mixing some of the blues in here as I go. Obviously I'm not being very precious about it at all. Let's just go down and see what shapes it comes out for the trees. And you get this wonderful effect of branches and eventually as this builds up because these are all dark ones over the top here as this builds up and then it will dry back and you get that layered effect of trees and this actual beautiful piece of countryside does exist because the reference photo that I'm using to paint this from. I took this photo just outside of Hamdorf here in Adelaide Hills. So this piece of heaven actually does exist. It's not a fast process. But as it builds up, 